Okay, we're approaching Normandy from uh, Grand Avenue. Willington is just above, uh, uh, just above it, the light up there. But uh, making a left turn on Normandy, going to be going northbound. What I want to point out is the sewers. Anytime you have a fire hydrant, there is usually a sewer right in front of it, taking the overflow from the, from the street. What I want to point out over here, there's a lot of water sitting here. And anytime you get water build up there, it could ruin, this, ruin the, the asphalt, because if it gets underneath the asphalt, it could cause a pothole here. I mean, it's on both sides of the street. We're right in front of Applebee's here, and in front of this Honda dealership. You get a lot of water here. You also got a lot of standing water right in front of Applebee's. I'm going down this street. The street uh, has been patched and repatched. I am at the 2400 block of Normandy. There was a pothole there. It's been, you know, repaved and patched and everything. The sewer needs work here. Again, with the trees, you get the tree blockage here. You got a lot of potholes here. Now, just to make a note, you got Home Depot on the right hand side of me on the east side of the street. Now, with Home Depot, they got a lot of truck traffic here. In fact, I see two trucks parked in their lot. I don't know if they're waiting for a delivery for tomorrow or whatever, but you got to ask yourself how did these trucks get into this, this parking lot? Were these streets uh, reinforced underneath? Because what you'll have is you get a truck up on top and it crumbles the foundation. You cannot see it until the street caves in. I just crossed over Alcat on Normandy and getting back to the trucks. Once these, these streets should be reinforced underneath because you're going to cause a lot of damage underneath. The foundation could be crumbling under it. You wouldn't know unless the street caved in. That's what they should have done. Now, I don't know how they got the permit without fixing up the street with all the truck traffic here. Okay. And again, you got a hydrant over here that uh, needs a little bit of work. Needs a spool on it, I believe. All right, you're going down the street. You got a lot of a lot of potholes here. A lot of street cracks. When it, when the asphalt cracks, that means there's something going on underneath with the foundation. We'll talk about the foundation uh, separations at a later date. Okay, right now I'm at the 2500 block of uh, uh, Normandy. I'm going to pull over let all this traffic go past me here. I'm approaching this. You can't, you know, you can't even tell what name of the street this is because of the branches are overhanging uh, Normandy. I'm at 2558 North Normandy and you got all these branches blocking the street name. Okay, and then on the right, uh, Home Depot's got trees that are overhanging the vehicles here. If you get a van or something like that, you'll, you won't do it. You'll scratch up your, uh, your your vehicle. Okay, now you've got a tractor trailer here. And just to show, I'm going to scan over just a little bit and show you the difference between the trucks. I know it's not part of the, the street, but let me show you the difference in this little old trailer they got here. They call that, the truckers call that a pig. A pig because the tra the top of the trailer sits on a frame, and the only thing that's holding that frame up is is four little swivel balls that hold that trailer on. If those balls break, that trailer's coming off. That uh, I'm sorry, the tr the truck part, the container, is going to come off of that trailer, and that trailer, right, that little that little tra trailer right there, can hold up to eighty thousand pounds. And we'll talk about the truck safety at another date, but just to let you know. Now imagine 80,000 pounds coming down this street here, residential street. It looks like it's, the street is falling apart. It, the street is falling apart because uh, you got 80,000 pounds possibly coming down this street. So there's a factory here. I just hope before the, the city gave them a permit to do to have all this truck traffic here. I hope somebody have, has thought about the foundation under the street. It don't look like they did nothing to the street because the street's not been asphalted, I'd say, between, oh, I don't know, probably 10 to 20, maybe 30 years. And there's a lot of patches going on. When the street separates like this, there's a lot of foundation problems underneath. All right, I'm approaching Schubert, going northbound on Normandy here. Again, you got all this landscaping on this corner. It looks nice, but it's blocking the view from all the traffic. You might want to get. You might have a traffic accident.
And there's a lot of water on the street. Let me pull over, let all these vehicles pass me by. Alright, what you see in front of me is a lot of standing water. The standing water will will go underneath the asphalt, cause the puddle to become loose. And if the car is hit it a few times, it'll break apart like it is in front of me. You'll see the asphalt breaking apart. And you got a lot of a lot of standing water here on the park side, I don't know, you know, on the parkway here. These curbs are homemade curbs that the residents put out there, either with stones or landscaping timbers, or something of that nature. As you as you can see, there's a lot of pothole after pothole after pothole here. You know, they're kind of deep. You know, there's a lot of standing water here at diversity. A lot of water here. When you're running over water, when you're, taking, when you're driving your car over standing water, you got to be very, very careful because you don't know what's underneath that water. It could be a huge pothole underneath that you're going to hit and ruin your axle and your tire, your rim. You could get a flat tire. I mean, you be very careful when you're going over standing water. Kind of go slowly, you know, for the safety of your vehicle. I just crossed the Versi. I'm uh, 2800 block Normandy. They got a speed hump here. There's a lot of a lot of wavy streets here. A lot of wavy streets means they didn't uh, prepare the street underneath. You know, it's like cooking. You know, before you cook, you got to boil the water and you got to prepare it with all the different spices. But that's a different show. All right. Uh, so I'm going to pull over, let all the traffic go by me here. Uh, but you know one thing I didn't notice when we were making this video is I haven't seen a police car driving down at all anywhere since we made this video up to this date. I have not seen no police car driving past. And that's kind of strange. Where is the police protection? I believe this is the 25th police district from Belmont South. Anything north of Belmont would uh, be the 16th district. But I haven't seen a police car since in this video. Alright. Now we're at the 2900 block of Normandy. This street is very bad. A lot of potholes. Uh, I just can't believe there's this many potholes on here. You got a sewer caving up there because there's a pothole next to it. And it's a circular. That means there's a problem underneath with the bricks. It needs to be redone. Here you got a curb that's coming up from the tree here. I don't know if you let me zoom over. Let me back up a little bit so you can take a, a view how this uh, how this would look. Now that's something that the, that the alderman should have noticed and took complaints with because this is coming up, not going down. It's coming up. That means something from underneath is pushing this thing up. They need to investigate this thing and correct this problem for these people over here at uh, 29, just uh, south of 2933 Normandy. Uh, that needs uh, that needs some work uh, right away. Because if you're walking down and all of a sudden you don't remember that curb being up like that, man, you could fall and really mess up your shoulder or your head or any part of your body here. As I'm approaching the intersection, again, you got the trees hanging over the street sign here. It's uh, Wellington. A lot of for sales around here also. Pothole right before the street. Crossing over Wellington on Normandy. I'm at the 3000 block of Normandy. The streets got repaved, though, probably five, six, seven years ago. You got an abandoned vehicle here. Looks like it started on fire. Uh, let me back up. Let me pull over and uh, so I can let this traffic through. Let me back up. Let me set the video off for just one minute. I'll be right back with you.